Hey guys, what's up? Austin Smith here, and this is part two of my summer 2015 EDC videos. This is my backpack. It is a Swiss Gear City Pack in the blue and gray. It's going to be kind of hard to show you. Uh, I, I couldn't really find a good camera angle to show you uh, the backpack itself, so I will uh, hopefully get the, uh, the message across. Starting with the outside here, we have a uh, little parafob and a kind of helix pattern. I like the helix. It's not particularly uh, useful, but there is a little bit of paracord there, uh, just in case, kind of for fun. Also on the front we have a velcro strap here that is holding a Leatherman case in. I forget what Leatherman that came with. I don't have the Leatherman. I got the case by itself. And uh, in that case is some Saber Red pepper spray, obviously in the off position. Not going to spray myself with that, hopefully. That is uh, just on the front for quick access in case, uh, you know, someone decides, hey, that guy has a backpack. Let me try and take that backpack or something like that. Anyway, now we move on to the pockets. There are four pockets on this backpack. There's the side glasses pocket. There's the main compartment, which will be hard to show you, the organizational pocket, and the far back pocket. I will show you, I believe, in order of easiest to show you. Now, we have this side pocket here. Let's turn this up like this so you can see it. There we go. All right, we have this side glasses pocket. There's quite a few items in here, uh, the first of which being Germex for, obviously, um, sanitizing your hands. Got some chapstick. Don't use that very often, but uh, it is there. And it's basically petroleum jelly, so it's got tons of uses. Uh, there's this stuff, which is a plane is flying by which is pain and itch relief liquid. Uh, that is for insect bites, sunburns, you can use it for uh, mild regular burns as well. And it just kind of helps you get through uh, that annoying period just after you get an injury like that. We've got a lighter which goes along with that liquid. Uh, this is the America lighter. I don't know where it came from, but I ended up with it and it still works. I can't light lighters with my left hand. There we go, works. Stick that off to the side, hope it stands up. Alright, we have a tied to go pen for obvious reasons. Something spills on your uh, shirt. It's mostly good for food, I hear. I haven't had to use it that often, which is good. Anyway, just uh, if, if I'm out and about and something happens to my shirt or my pants, I guess, and I want to fix it. And this is the WD 40 No Mess pen, which probably can't be cleaned up with a previous pen, but uh, it's just a way to. Uh, apply WD-40 on small areas. Finally, in the very bottom here, we have a Leatherman Juice. This is the Juice CS4, and this is a bit chunkier than the one in my lower tier, the S2. And uh, it's got, in addition to all the tools on that one, uh, some tools that I never use, like the corkscrew, which I'm never going to use, and the the awl is actually useful, the reamer awl, but the saw I'm probably never going to use. So I keep it in here because it's a bit chunkier and uh, slightly less useful to me, but it is still a nice useful multi-tool and it's not to the point where it's kind of hurting your hand to use it or whatever. So that is that. And that is all the items in this glasses pocket down there. All right. Now on the front of the backpack is a very small pocket here that uh, I don't keep much in. There's nothing in the way of real gear in here. It is a deck of bicycle playing cards. Uh, this one happens to be the red party cut version because I thought that was hilarious. Um, been used obviously. And a card game. The card game is Love Letter, which is a really good card game and it's only 16 cards. Really easy to play, really easy to teach to a bunch of people. Uh, it came in a bag but I've uh, destroyed the bag. So that's that. Those are all the items in this compartment. It's sort of a games compartment. Uh, if I'm bored and I have some people around, I could probably play solitaire as well. So if, if I'm bored, if uh, I'm with some people that I don't know very well, most everyone knows how to play card games. Uh, if something has stopped moving or whatever, you know, it's nice to have something like that around. Alright, now I'm going to move on to the second pocket here, which is the organizational 
pocket, which sort of has the uh, the standard pen loops and all sorts of stuff like that. There are two buckles on the side here, which is nice because when you open up the pocket, it doesn't open it up all the way, so you can sort of have uh, items stored in in a way that so you can have quick access at the top and then less quick access at the bottom. So this just kind of opens like that, and you see you have these items here. That isn't supposed to open like that. So you have this these items here that you can quickly access, and the items below it you are uh, less quick. Let's undo those buckles and open this one all the way. That flap just kind of goes away there. At the top here we have a cash wallet which has cash in it. This is the Flex by Filofax Pocket. I don't know how available it is in the US anymore. I got it at a surplus store when they were out. I think they were leaving the US about a year ago. I don't know if they are going to become available again or not, but it's a pretty useful thing. Really, really hardy, really handy as well. Uh, I've also got another pen in there. That is the uh, Monteverde uh, Poquito Stylus. So it's got the little touchscreen stylus in there, which I find handy. Business cards and a couple notebooks. Uh, I don't really care for much for that notebook, but it came with the book, so I uh, I use it. And this is just a, my regular wallet can't hold cash very well, and so this keeps my cash separate if I need to spend cash, which I prefer to cards. So I have this one around a lot. It goes over there. And then we have all sorts of stuff here. The first thing to notice is this little key ring, which has a flashlight attached to it so that you can, in the dark, look down in this pocket and scan and see what's going on in there. Uh, and it does detach so that you could use this little mini utility knife. Little Pittsburgh mini utility knife. These come from Harbor Freight. They're not the greatest of quality in the world, but they cut stuff. They're sharp. And uh, it's nice to have a backup lock back. Lockup's pretty secure, although the blade does uh, release pretty easy. So that's something to kind of worry about, but in a pinch it works. And I like it. This is the stuff on the little keychain uh, that is generally pretty useless in this. Alright, we'll start from the back first. Let's uh, pull this baggie out and then the stuff behind it. This is my map bag. The only reason this map isn't in it is because it doesn't need to go in there and it can't really fit in the bag. Uh, this bag has a local area map, which is Austin. It's got a pencil for marking the paper map, and it's got an extra fine Expo marker for marking the plastic map of my state. And uh, this has a bit less detail on it than the, than the paper map, but uh, I find that if you're looking at a state map, you're probably looking at a lot less detail anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So this is sort of maps and uh, utensils for marking the maps in case you're in a situation where you need to use the paper maps uh, instead of the maps on your cell phone. In front of that is a checkbook, which uh, I will not open, but it's got checks in it. Again, uh, in case something happens to my card or whatever. Uh, then this is an item my brother got me, as you can see I haven't even taken out of the package. I'm not seriously considering using this, but it's fun to have around. It is a straw uh, that uh, filters water. I believe it's uh, an antibacterial straw as well. You're supposed to clear the mud out of it uh, and all that stuff before uh, you drink with it and this kills bacteria and stuff. So it's nice. doesn't work as long as some of the other ones out there, but it's pretty good. And uh, water is the most important thing if there's an emergency situation. So, well I guess survive. L being alive is first, but water is important to that. So that's a fun thing to have around. These next two items. Uh, this one's pretty simple. These are hand warmers. Uh, it's not winter, it's summer, but, you know, those are handy to have around whenever. And in the winter, I don't want to forget about them and not put them in there and uh, then have cold hands for a while. This is a flat sewing kit here, credit card size. There's the threader. I knew I was opening it wrong. I don't know why I didn't correct myself, but you see you got a couple buttons, the world's worst pair of scissors, a couple safety pins, a needle, a pin, uh, and some different colors of thread, and a little threader there. Uh, the ones from hotels are probably uh, just as effective as this kit, but it's nice. It's also nice to have scissors that they do cut the thread. They are sharp scissors. They're not uh, not great. They'll probably snap uh, after a bit, but they are. Uh, it's nice to have a little kit self-contained, and you can use the ones from hotels or whatever to uh, refill those should you need to. Next. Down here is an iTunes gift card wrapped with some cheap dollar store plastic twine. This is not emergency, this is just like, oh, I need to tie something down for a short amount of time, let me 
tie it down real quick. Twine is obviously not wrapped around there very well. Uh, it's just sort of, sort of there. And that's a few feet of it, just uh, so I don't use any sort of emergency cord for that purpose. There's nothing else back there. Got a couple pen loops here with some twisty ties wrapped together with a rubber band. You know, twisty ties are useful. Uh, I'm sure I don't need to explain this to you exactly. We have another pen. This is the Big Tech pen. It is a stylus pen. Uh, it's alright. Not my favorite Big pen, not my favorite stylus, but it is yeah, fairly cheap and uh, it works. It does. It gets the job done. So if my Monteverde Poquito isn't around, that can do that. Next here we have uh, a little Moleskine Vola notebook. Again, just in case I need some notes. The nice thing about this is it's perforated. So you can uh, write a note and tear it out and give it to someone. So you need to give them uh, an address or instructions on how to do something or a shopping list or whatever. Uh, if you're meeting uh, for some, with someone for coffee and you talk to them and uh, want them to have the notes, then uh, you can just tear it out and give it to them. This is the business card case and it's got business cards in it. Surprise of all surprises. Put that off to the side. <laughs> this is something that is used with a charging kit that is inside here. It didn't fit inside the charging kit and so it just goes here in this little mesh pocket. And I will get to that later. That is most of the organizational pocket. The rest is just kind of shoved down here, so I will just magically pull stuff up from the bottom of the screen. And you can see it. There's some earplugs. Sometimes it gets noisy in the city. There's some tape. Again, you need to tape some stuff together. This is electrical vinyl tape, so it's uh, electricity resistant and uh, it will uh, semi waterproof stuff should you need to do that. Uh, next here are some battery cases. These are by Blue Cell and uh, they hold four double A's or four triple A's uh, and I put another double A in there. This kind of makes this case hard to open but still uh, you get five double A batteries and four triple A batteries. Uh, these are just some brand I happen to have a bunch of lying around. Next up there are two ponchos in case I'm with someone and get caught out in the rain. I hate the idea of getting caught out in the rain without some sort of uh, protection from the water. So, hence the two ponchos. I could uh, double bag myself or give one to someone else if they're, uh, if they're there. Or if I use one and uh, it's irrecoverable, I have a backup already in there. And then two bandanas, you know, wipe sweat off, um, emergency first aid stuff, signaling, uh, nosebleed, need to blow your nose, all sorts of stuff like that. These are super useful things. And then finally at the bottom here is the strap for my belt pouch. It's originally a camera bag and you can have a shoulder strap for it in case I ever want to carry it over my shoulder and not on my belt, say something happens to my belt. And that is everything that is in this little organizational pouch. And now we get to the hardest film part of this backpack, the main compartment. Let me see if I can get this so it's easy for you to see. All right. So the first thing when you open up the bag is a shopping bag. This is a cloth shopping bag from HEB, which is a Texas grocery store. And uh, in my city, Austin, Texas, they do not uh, let you use those disposable plastic bags. Those are entirely illegal. You have to use uh, reusable reusable plastic bags, which you have to pay for, or paper bags. Or most places make you pay for. You don't have to pay for them. but. Uh, most places make you pay for them or pay you pay for cloth bags and I find it's handy to just have one carrying around. Uh, they can give you paper bags but the paper bags uh, uh, just are subpar nowadays. Uh, next we have a little mini toiletries kit. Uh, I'll break away and show you this. Alright, this is my little mini uh, toiletries bag I guess you could say. I just want to show you this from the outside because there are uh, some medicine bottles in there that I will uh, take away and not show you uh, because I don't want you to see my information but they are the original medicine bottles that those came in. These are all the other items that are in my little mini toiletries bag. These are some more medications. These are uh, for migraines. These I can show you because they don't have any information on them but we'll put them over there for now. And this is the main stuff that's in there. We've got a little travel toothbrush which just pops out like that. Nice and easy. We've got a travel case of some floss picks. 
just in case you know you get stuck at a hotel overnight or whatever for your traveling and you weren't expecting to. Got a couple of these, which are single-use toothpaste packages, toothpaste gels. I find that they work three to four days uh, because uh, that's just how much is in there. Uh, that might you might think I'm being a little stingy putting the toothpaste on, but I've literally piled it on until it's falling off, and you can still get three uh, brushes out of it. So that's about a week, maybe a little longer worth of toothpaste there. And that's just more convenient to carry than the little mini toothpaste tubes. This is an Altoids tin that has been sealed very well. as a warning on it. This has uh, four types of pills in it, four types of pretty common ones. Uh, acetaminophen, which is Tylenol basically for headaches. Diphenhydramine, which is Benadryl for uh, as an antihistamine sleep aid. Uh, tryptophan, which is a sleep aid uh, that sort of kind of works. It's probably just a placebo. And uh, meclizine, which is for nausea and travel sickness. And uh, this is a blue cell uh, pair of folding nail clippers, which are quite nice, spring loaded. Probably not as hardy as some of the other ones, but I'm not going to be using it uh, rough. I'm probably not going to, you know, put much wear on that. And then finally some tweezers. These are the Uncle Bill's Flivver Grippers, which are ever popular with people. Uh, I kind of bury these. I don't really need tweezers that often, I find. Uh, but they are really good tweezers. Uh, so those are in there. And that is my little toiletries bag. And then we have a change purse. This is just a little bag that came from the bank, and uh, it's got change in it. It's got a, quite a bit of change in it because I haven't emptied it for a while. Uh, but yeah, that's where most of my change goes after a day of it being in my pocket. We've got a little package of Kleenex. Uh, it's been used a few times, just in case. Sure, you don't. Sure, I don't need to tell you what Kleenex is used for. If you get a little cut or if your uh, nose is running. This is the On Emergency Charging Kit with a few modifications. Uh, that'll also be broken away and shown to you. Uh, got a few extra things in there. I like the case, but it is kind of kind of tough to fit stuff in. Alright, this is the On Emergency Charging Kit. It's with a few modifications. It comes with a little dry bag here that you can put your phone or other electronic device in if it gets dropped in water. In theory, it also protects from water, I guess. You got a little emergency charger in here, which uh, works with AA batteries. And uh, you can um, use those with the batteries I have, or I can use it with the batteries in the back of the pack. You have a USB to wall adapter right there, a USB to car adapter. This is the charger for my secondary uh, work phone. And this is the adapter for the uh, work phone that goes with the car charger that is in the organizational pocket in the back. So that uh, that is kind of a two-part thing, but that I find I need to use that probably the least out of all the stuff. We've got three cords here. These have a uh, USB on one end. Got iPod or old-style iPhone, new iPhone, iPod, and uh, mini USB there. Micro USB there. So yeah, that is the uh, the on emergency charging kit. Next, uh, I'll show you what's in the pockets first. You've got a uh, electronics pocket, which sometimes has an iPod in it uh, because there's a hole here, and so sometimes my headphones are up around here. Uh, but for right now, it's just got another bandana in it. Those things are super useful. So it sits in there. In the back pocket here, I have a pair of gloves, Was Le Mans. Was Lamont. I don't know how you pronounce that exactly, but uh, these are just some simple work gloves in a plastic bag because I've used them and they are dirty and I don't really want them to get everything else in the world dirty. There is a piece of plastic that is actually a parking pass for my apartment that I don't feel like showing you. And another poncho, this one's bigger, this one's more heavy duty. I've had one of these. Uh, and it saved my life almost. It's when we were renting a hotel room and the roof started leaking really, really terribly. As in, it felt like it was raining inside. Uh, one of these was really useful. As you can see, I got it second hand. So, those are nice. Uh, it was by the exact brand. 
And finally we have three more items at the bottom here that are kind of hard to show you. This is about uh, a sloppy, sloppily made roll of about 40 feet of paracord, uh, just in case. I don't probably don't know how to use it to the best of, uh, best of one's ability at the moment, but uh, I am learning, so put it in there and maybe I'll be able to use it, hopefully. Uh, here is the biggest item in here. This is a CVS first aid kit, also with some modifications. Break away and show you those in just a second. All right, and this is the CVS all-purpose first aid kit here. Uh, this is uh, slightly modified. We've got a couple quick access things in the top here. First of all, this kit did come with a CPR mask, which is nice. Uh, put that at the top because when you need it, you really need it uh, so that people don't vomit in your face. We've got a snake bite kit, which I've talked about in the previous video. Uh, there's no proof that these work, but it is nice sort of comfort especially for someone else. Uh, the main thing is to not panic, and one way to get them to not panic is to give them uh, a placebo, which a snake bite kit would be. It's still got some useful stuff like iodine and a scalpel for sterilites. And you got a couple that rolls away, a couple tampons here, which uh, could in theory also be used as fire starters, but they're good for stopping those pleads. And uh, if absolutely nothing else, uh, a gunshot wound, although if you uh, if you have to do that with a tampon, uh, you might die. Uh, don't take medical advice from some idiot on YouTube who doesn't even purport to be a medical expert, but you could do that for some deep puncture wound or something. Uh, but there's also this, which is an Israeli bandage, which is a compression bandage, and it can also be used sort of like a tourniquet. This is sort of my tourniquet replacement. Um, because I don't really feel comfortable using tourniquets. It's not as severe, but it's uh, easier to use. Uh, this is a triangular bandage that just fell out. Uh, that's for uh, broken bones, obviously. Uh, this is my tools bag. So you've got some scissors, some gloves, uh, forceps, tape, safety pins, tongue depressors, cotton swabs, all sorts of stuff like that. This is my... Uh, pre-treatment uh, sort of bag so you've got your uh, disinfecting wipes there you've got a uh, pill fob with some single-use uh, sort of like uh, Tylenols and stuff you've got different types of ibuprofen Tylenol aspirin uh, stuff like that more sanitizing wipes and a cold compress this is sort of the stuff that you want to administer first before doing anything this is sort of a post-treatment or in addition to bandages so you have some mole skin, you have antibiotic ointment, uh, a space blanket and uh, a few other things in there. Uh, I think there's burn, there's burn gel and insect bite cream which you would want to put. Uh, the burn gel might want to go in the pre-treatment actually thinking about it. And this is just bandages here so you've got all sorts of different types of bandages. So this is meant to go with bandages, but if you just need to put a bandage on, all the bandages are here. We've got a couple lengths of gauze, some big pads, some smaller pads, spot bandages, knuckle bandages, knee bandages, all sorts of stuff like that. All the bandages you need. This is a Red Cross first aid guide. This came with this kit. And another bandana, which is useful uh, for all sorts of first aid stuff, just in case type of thing. Doesn't take up any space. And that is the CVS uh, first aid kit with my modifications. And finally is a glasses case. This usually has my glasses in it, but uh, it doesn't right now because they are on my face. There we go. Glasses. And that is just... I usually don't carry uh, wear my glasses outside. I don't need to. They're sort of reading glasses. Uh, if I'm operating a vehicle, I would need to, but I'm um, just, just walking around or whatever, riding with other people. Uh, just stick them in here, and that way they're always with me. And that is everything for the main compartment. I know that's hard to see, but that is indeed everything.